Well, a young girl is locked away in a mental asylum by her wicked stepfather and now has to find a way to break free before it's too late. Now, that's the plot of the new film, Sucker Punch. Take a look. I need to get out. I'm going to escape from here. There's armed guards everywhere. And if you find out, we're dead. We're already dead. You're afraid, don't be, to reach your own paradise. Just let go. What you're imagining right now, you control this world. Now, Sucker Punch is full of action, combat scenes, and throwdown fights. And this morning, we're showing you the moves from that movie that could help you protect yourself from an attacker. Self defense instructor Zef Inspect joins us live. To, where are you? Over here. We saw you behind me. Um, so, can you show us some of the moves that were kind of used in the movie? I mean, self defense is important, especially for women. That's right. In fact, here at San Diego State, we're going to be running a self defense program on March 25th from 5 30 7 30. That will cover some of these types of moves. Um, the first thing we want to start with is what we normally go over in my class, and mm -hmm. that is uh, the very first thing is body mechanics. So how do you get away when someone starts trying to grab you? So here with my student Alex, if someone comes up to grab you by the arm, you have the grip with four fingers here and one thumb on the other side. So it's going to be a lot easier to fight against that one thumb than it will the four fingers. So as soon as someone grabs you, you want to resist and pull away or make a big circle on the thumb side. If I was to grab from the other side, here, four fingers here, thumb on this side, she would just swing the arm the other way. It's fairly straightforward, and to give a little application of this, you can also use your other hand to push them away, shoving on the arm. So when I grab here, she's just going to swing away and mm -hmm. shove the person back, making some distance. So we're going to demonstrate that. We have a, a helper, Anakin, from the new movie. Okay. Uh, we'll be, uh, and she's going to be demonstrating with Alex. So go ahead, try grabbing the arm, and just swinging away. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Grab the other yeah, side. Yeah, simple move too. Exactly. As soon as someone grabs you, you want to start resisting. So you grab hold and resist. Why don't you give it a try? She'll grab your arm and you want to swing. Yeah. You always want okay. to swing in front of you and you want to swing hard. If you have to step into it, go right ahead. But okay. you want to make sure that you break free and you want to be able to make that room. So along those same lines, we're now going to talk a little bit about someone starts trying to grab on your shirt. So when someone comes up and they try to grab you, you want to, again, look over that thumb. Feel the thumb. As soon as you have that thumb, you can just pry it up. I like to use this move here with my thumb on the back of their hand. It's like a can opener. When you do this, you're only working against their thumb. The rest of it you're holding to your body. Sometimes I use two hands, sometimes just one hand, and then I brace their shoulder. But as soon as you have control of that thumb, it's easy to get away. And then you just step away, right? Get away from the person. This will unbalance them, push them back, sometimes even throw them down if you do it quick enough. Right? Now, what if someone grabs you from behind? What do you do? That's a great question. Uh, I set up a couple of examples for that. The first one is if you're sitting down, because a lot of times people forget that they're at a bus stop or some other public area, and you're not really sure what to do when you're sitting down and being grabbed. It can feel really suffocating. So if my student Alex here sitting down, I come up from behind. Well, as soon as I start to grab her, she needs to react. She needs to hold on and then turn into me. When you turn into the person, and let's do it from the side here, it's really easy just to just roll out of it by rolling towards the person. And you have this now chair or a bench or whatever it may be between you and that person. So you have a nice barrier there. It gives you the opportunity to fight back or just escape and run away, right? which is always good for going to get help. Yeah. Again, here. She just rolls right in. No, that's she's a good point that you make too, because if somebody's sitting at a, ba bu a bus stop or you know train station waiting, then uh, you know they need to have self-defense because they're not they don't have eyes behind their backs. So. Exactly, and you're not necessarily going to be attacked with someone coming up and saying, "I'm going to attack you." Right. Usually, if someone's trying to rob you or, or take advantage of you, they're going to try and do it while you're vulnerable. Usually, if you're back to you, um, usually they're coming up from behind while you're sitting down or laying down. Yeah, and tell us um, about the event taking place. This is these are some of the things you will learn. And it takes place, is it this weekend coming up? Uh, so it's going to be March 25th, so it's coming up pretty soon. Yep. And it's going to be 5.30, 7.30. Now, I will be there, but it's actually going to be run by some of the other martial arts instructors at San Diego State. So we have a whole host of them. We have people who teach uh, Taekwondo, Karate, hop, uh, Aikido, Kapawea, Judo, and Jiu-Jitsu. So we have a wide range of people who are going to be there. Um, I think the Taekwondo and Judo guys uh, are going to be the ones leading this particular self-defense. And it's a free event? Uh, I think it will be... Uh, for a, sm a nominal fee. But you can find out more on the website for San Diego State. Okay, very good. Thanks so much for Thank being you. with us today. And for more information, just go to sandiego6.com and click on Hot Topics.